So let's start. Questions on the PDF review? Uh, the first question, like that whole equation of the question, I always forget it. Ten, this one, 10 to 11? Um, 2.1. Yeah. These up here? Yeah. Yeah, okay. So you're going to get, I mean, it will give it to you. It will give you some sort of model that's exponential. This would obvi obviously be on the calculator portion, okay? Um, and you, you can, like this one says, use the graphing utility to graph the function. You really shouldn't need to. Like if you're finding the value of something after two years, you're literally taking two and plugging it in as your T. So it will give you the model, and you literally just have to plug it in. So it's going to give me like that equation like that? It's going to give you some sort of exponential equation. Got yeah. Okay. Same thing for, for 22. It's going to give you, like this one gave you that exponential equation. It will give it to you. Okay. You really just don't overthink it. You really just have to plug a value in. For C, it says according to the model, when does the, C, the SUV depreciate the most rapidly? Is this realistic? You won't have anything like that. It's just going to ask you straight up. Okay. Yeah. Um, and then 22, same, it gave you the model. It said to determine the initial quantity, so you'd be looking for where t equals zero. And then to determine the quality, quantity rep, present after 10 years, now you're plugging in 10. And then C says use the graphing utility to graph it over the interval, but you won't even need to graph it. You should just be able to plug it in. So you don't need a graphing utility for this one. You can use scientific, but I want you to stick with whatever it is you've been using that you're the most comfortable with. All right, so something like 10 and 11, you would have to graph by hand, okay? Um, 0.3 can be changed to 3 tenths, I would say. It would be easier if you had to do that without a calculator. And then 37 and 40 is what you will also be graphing by hand. And then answering all the parts of it, domain, range, whatever asymptote is appropriate for that one, and whatever intercept is appropriate for that one. Like, it's going to ask you those points. That's no calculator. So there's one exponential graph and there's one log graph and neither of them have the calculator. And those, I think I, they're worth like, all the rest are worth five points, but I want to say those are more, I think those are maybe, those are 10 points a piece because they're, they have multiple parts. All right, so calculator portion is obviously your interest rate ones. You want to make sure that you know both those equations. You need to know per and you need to know, God bless you, A equals P times 1 plus R over N to the NT. It will not give it to you in table format like this. It will instead say words like annually, semi-annually, weekly, daily, <laughs> monthly, quarterly. God bless you. You need to know what all of those are, okay? So annually would be N is what? One, semi-annually, N is? Two. Two. Quarterly, N is? Four. Four. Monthly? Twelve. Twelve. Weekly? Fifty-two. Good. Daily? 365. 365. Good. Okay. So make sure you know those things. I, you, you cannot ask me what it means on the test tomorrow. I cannot tell you. You can't ask me, but look away from me. All right. Your change of base was 3-3. Three, three. Make sure you know how to rewrite that. It will actually, the directions will actually say as a ratio of common logs or natural logs, you only have to give me one of them, but then you'll actually plug it in your calculator and you'll get that value. So on the quiz, you didn't have to, you left it, but on the test, you're going to have to plug it in and actually get the value. That would be on the calculator portion. And then something like 60 would be on the calculator portion. Something like 68, 69, and 72 would be non-calculator because you can expand those or condense those without it. Questions on any of those? Yeah. Um, something like 54 or 50, 51, and then 6160 calculator. You're welcome. These non calculator. These non calculator. So condense and expand not calculator portions. Yeah. Oh, I don't think I do. Huh. I'll do that right now. Yeah, sorry. Right? I didn't put your grade in, right? No? Yeah. All right, 3, 4 is where you get your equations. So some of these can be solved without a calculator. All of 82 to 93 could be solved without a calculator. 
And then the rest of the ones that you like have to raise e to a power or you have to ln both sides, those you would have a calculator for. Pretty much 90, 95 to 111 could all, would, you'd have your calculator for. But there are like a bunch of stuff like that all mixed in together. So you got to kind of know how to start it. Remember, if it's exponential, we're trying to either change them so that they're the same or we're LN LNing both sides. If it's log, like 105, 107, and 111, if there's more than one, we're condensing. And then either converting to exponential or using the one-to-one. -one, or if it was just like one on either side, then we're using that one-to-one -one property. Question on these. This is your factoring one. Yeah, but at the end, we just have to put it equal to LL, LL, right? You have to LL on both sides, yep. So this becomes e to the x and e to the x, and then the factors of positive 8, that sum to negative 6, which would be negative 4, negative 2, yeah. and then split and solve it. And then you do LL to make it equal and put the x down. Okay. Correct. So solve it, you get that. Then you got to LN both sides, but LN of e cancels, and then I'd find LN of 4. Ln of e cancels, and then I'd find ln of 2. And just because, if it was like the x wasn't the exponent, what would we do? It was like next to the ex. It can't be. It can't be. Mm -mm. You wouldn't be able to move it. You'd have to separate that out. You can't. Yeah, you, know, you wouldn't do anything like that. You might see something else in addition to that exponent where if you multiply it, well, with the ln e, it's always going to cancel to give you the exponent. Yeah. But the one that you had a ln, like, um, ones like, like let's say it's this one where you here not that one 99 first thing I would do is divide by negative 4 and then you'd get and then you'd have to ln 5 to the x and ln 68 over 4 and then this becomes x times ln of 5 and then you would divide both sides by that ln of 5 so I do that whole thing in the calculator Yes, but then you actually find it. Yeah. Which is what's on there. It's just, you know, we'll see how long it takes to get there. This was second to last. So if I'm separating this out, it's division, right? Which means what? Subtraction. So it would be log base 8 of a squared minus these both go in the bottom. But there are two terms, so they need to get separated. So this would be log base 8 of 8 minus, because they're both in the bottom, log base 8 of c to the third. And then what is log base 8 of 8? 1. So this bumps forward. 2 log base 8 of a minus 1. And then this bumps forward. Minus 3 log base 8 of c. That was the most expanded form. Some of you kept the bottom two together. Those are two terms. They have to get separated out. And then some people just didn't simplify the log base 8 of 8, which needed to get simplified. Any questions? For, yeah. What did you add that? If it was multiplication. So if it just said log base 8 of 8c to the third, now when I split them up, it'd be log base 8 of 8 plus log base 8. If there's two things in the top. So if it said log base 8 of 8a squared over c to the third. Now when I separate that out, these both get the plus, and then the c gets the, gets the minus because it's in the bottom. So if there's more than one thing in the numerator, they are addition. If there's more than one thing in the denominator, they are subtraction. And then obviously we'd bump, and then this would get simplified. If it says, if the base can't be changed to be the same on either side, obviously this is 49, and there's no power I could raise 5 to to make it 49. So we ln both sides of the equations. I'd end up with ln of 49 equals, this bumps forward, 2x times ln of 5. And then I want to isolate the x. So I could literally do in one step, divide by 2 times ln of 5, or I could do that in two separate steps. It doesn't matter. So if I wanted to get the x by itself, I would divide by ln of 5, right? And divide by 2. You could do that in one step. So then ln of 49 divided by 2 times ln of 11. Of L, divided by 2 ln 
five. Get you your answer. Yeah. 1.209. Oh, so you just divided it. You went through it. Yeah.